All right, so now let's do a little example. So we've got this cell here, and we're trying to find the haploid number, the ploidy, and the complete equation with both the ploidy and the haploid number. So if you'll recall, the haploid number is the number of distinct types of chromosomes. So let's look through the cell and see how many we can count. So I see this one, this one's distinct, this one's also distinct, this one kind of looks like that one, so it's not very distinct, and this one looks distinct. So there's three distinct chromosomes, n equals three. Um, the reason I ignored all the other ones is because they all look like these three, so they're not distinct, but they do come into play with the ploidy. So um, how many of the ones that look like number one are in the cell? One, two, three. How many look like two? One, two, three. How many look like three? One, two, three. So our ploidy is three. And now the complete equation if you'll recall, is you multiply 3 by n, and you multiply this side by 3, too. So you should get 3n equals 9. And uh, sort of a way to double check your work is this final number will be the uh, total number of chromosomes in the cell. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That fits this, and we've completed this. It's good. So now we have that same cell, but these chromosomes are replicated. And this is an important distinction to make because you might think that all these numbers in this complete equation are completely different, but they're not, and I'll explain why. When you replicate a chromosome, what you're doing is you're taking all the information in that one chromosome and you're just uh, making a copy of it. So the amount of unique information in each chromosome stays the same. So we consider this pair to be one chromosome. It's not two, it's one. There's one set of unique information, so it's one. This, however, is different from this because there might be different alleles within the chromosome. So our haploid number is still gonna be three because there's still three unique types of uh, chromosomes, three distinct types, one, two, and three. Even though this is replicated, this is still only one. The ploidy, is going to be three as well because nothing has changed. We still have three of every single type. And the complete equation is still gonna be three n equals nine. Unreplicated, replicated, it doesn't matter. When I see this, I see one chromosome. 